to build a 5.1 amplifier here are the complete parts that you have to collect it's a 5 channel board nest this is the subwoofer channel board 003 decoder 5.1 digital bts decoder So in the next video, I will be assembling the complete amplifier and I will show you what else are the connections. This is the second part of the amplifier assembling, digital amplifier assembling video. And in the previous video, I have shown you all the parts needed to assemble a 5.1 digital amplifier. Digital means an amplifier that functions fully using remote control. And there will be just two knobs like a subwoofer control and a master control. So here are the boards and parts that i have shown in the previous video and now i have almost done the wiring and you can see the hard part of the amplifier making is almost done and the rest is the final connection so here is the five channel board here is the speaker protection board and here is the subwoofer output board this is one of the rectifier for this 5 channel board and for subwoofer there is another transformer and here is the rectifier for that and in the previous video i have shown a rectifier board that was a multi-purpose board and all the connections was coming from that single rectifier board and because of some reason i changed that rectifier board with these two circuits here's the 12 volt connection for fan and the uh, other accessories there is another 12 volt for the pre stages and this is 27027 dual supply for subwoofer amplifier and here also you can see the 27027 dual supply done using four capacitors and a bridge rectifier there is another 12 volt coming out for the hdmi futec decoder and uh, there is another board that is the control circuit and this one will be placed here this 12 volt will be used for running that those two circuits i have connected the 5.1 channels speaker out to the banana socket that has been made on an acrylic sheet and the connection from that directly come to the speaker protection board and from there to the 5 channel output and these points are the inputs and the inputs are coming from the control board where there is a 5.1 output that we can switch using the remote control only for the subwoofer section there is a manual volume control for leveling the base level with the channel speakers and here you can see the five channel input is being connected here this is the input section and this is the 12 volt to run the futec kit so the 12 volt will be connected here and the five channel input will be coming from this socket okay so the connection is over and the 12 volt should be connected to the power supply and from the front panel also there are certain connections coming here here you can see the usb bluetooth panel it can also be controlled using the remote kit and the connections are connected to this point where the ir and the power supply will be switched uh, while we select the usb function in the remote control and then only the 5 volt will come to the usb bluetooth panel and the output from the usb panel is here it will be connected it should be connected to this control board and there's a display control that should be connected here here's the encoder here's the blue led fixed here for that blue ring around the volume control and that's all needed for the front panel here you can see usb in and the the connection here's the display control and it should be connected here you can see display marked here and that's all the board must be connected like this in, in this way okay and after connecting and screwing all this we will power it on
appearance and I'm now peeling it because just to show you how it will appear. Wow, there's a blue display and here's the Bluetooth display. Now we'll check the master. It's working. 43, 42. Okay. Now here is the master control section. Okay, so now we will check it. Okay, I am at the customer's house now and I have placed all the speakers wherever it is necessary and here is the subwoofer and the surround speakers there's the front left right and the center speaker arranged accordingly and we will play a music now Okay, so that was a 5.1 digital amplifier that is per channel for, for maximum 100 watts and 325 watts RMS subwoofer. And if you want to watch the first part of the video, then you can watch it from the, um, the end screen here on the top right of the screen. Thank you for watching.